Good evening, everybody. Tonight we got a special performance by our friend Larry Yazzie. You're not going to want to miss this. Stay tuned. While you're waiting, though, post in the comments. Let me know where you're from. We'd love to see where we all have visitors from tonight. Everybody. Hello, my name is Paul Gowder from Powell's.com. Welcome to the weekly show here at Powell's.com. Thank you, thank you all for being here. Tonight, we got a really special show. We're going to have an interview and special performance by Larry Yazzie. Larry is an actor, a hoop dancer, traditional dancer, uh, MC at Gathering of Nations, and so, so many more things. He travels around the country doing educational programs, and uh, you've probably seen him somewhere if you've been been around powwows or Indian country for a while. So I'm excited to have our friend Larry here tonight on the show. But first, we do have a, a couple of announcements. All right. First, I want to say that tonight's episode is brought to you by our friends over at the Department of Health and Human Services. For Native American Heritage Month, we are celebrating Native culture, and they want to remind everybody, please go and get your vaccine. And let's make sure that we can continue to celebrate our culture and our traditions at powwows and other places. And let's stay safe. Celebrate us and good health by getting your updated COVID vaccine to protect yourself and those you love against the original virus and Omicron and all the other ones. Find out more over at vaccines.gov. So thank you for the sponsorship. Okay. Also, we have a contest going on this month. Powwows.com slash win is how you get there. I did an unboxing the other day, but if you missed it, here is just one of the three blankets and other prizes we're giving away. Look at this thing. Ooh, we eighth generation makes some amazing products. Look at this. Oh man. Nice, nice, nice blanket. Powwows.com slash win. And at the end of the show, you can get a special bonus code that'll give everybody that's watching 10 extra entries into the contest. I'll give you that when you at the end of the show so stay tuned for that uh other announcements uh if you're interested in let's see let me flip over here 
We do have some merch and we will, we got a special sale right now. Um, the whole store site-wide is 20% off. Um, so you can go check that out. And then there is a special deal we're going to be having for Black Friday and Cyber Monday. So stay tuned to our newsletter to find out more about that. But I will tell you, it's going to be, I'll go ahead and tell you, it's going to be 70% uh, off our powwow stickers. So 70% off with free shipping. So check that out if you're interested, powwows.com slash shop. Also, while you're shopping, please remember to go to powwows.com slash Amazon first. That helps us. The Amazon will give us a small commission and it costs you nothing extra. So if you're doing your holiday shopping on Amazon, please go to powwows.com slash Amazon first. This weekend, we will be we will be streaming a powwow live from Fort McDowell, Arizona, uh, starting tomorrow and going all weekend. So uh, it'll be on powwows.com, YouTube, and Facebook. So uh, if you're if you're at home and not heading to a powwow this weekend, check us out. We'll have that live all weekend from Arizona. Super excited about that. Uh, I'm trying to get through these announcements quick. Sorry, y'all. I'm talking fast. I know. Um, so the other thing, if you are looking for holiday gifts, please don't forget that we do have three volumes of powwow coloring books. And you can find out more about those, powwows.com slash coloring book. And that is a great, great little stocking stuffer or uh, just give it to yourself. It's great, relaxing, um, cool designs that we've done uh, inspired by some of the powwow designs you'll see. So check that out, powwows.com slash coloring book. Okay, I think that is all the announcements. So, again, Larry Yazi. He, uh, well, hold on, let me check out a couple of the comments here. <laughs> Quizzy, oh yes. Marshall, hey, welcome back. Birdie, I see you here. Hello, hello. Kim, thanks for being here. Sue, good to see you again. Nancy from Arizona. Hey, B. Riley, great to see you again tonight. Thanks for being here. Let's see. And Native Atheist, always great to see you again, too. Okay, Larry. Larry is, uh, like I said, he is a traditional dancer, a hoop dancer, uh, a flute performer, um, and he's a great educator, travels around and does a, a lot of presentations. He's also been in several films, uh, as well as he is one of the MCs at Gathering Nations. He formed a group called um, Native Arts. Native, I'm sorry, Native Pride and his dance group, they travel around the world. He's, he's preparing for a European trip this summer. Um, so he has been seen all over the place doing dances and sharing the culture. So we're super excited to be able to share a little bit with Larry tonight. Thanks again, Larry, for being here and spending some time with us. And again, thanks to our friends over at Department of Health and Human Services for sponsoring tonight's show. But here is our good friend, Larry Yazzie. So excited again to have Larry on. Larry, you've been on with Powell's.com before, and so it's always great to have you back on. So, um, but how have things been going now that uh, you know the pandemic is is at least coming to an end? Um, how's it, how have things been for you? Are you getting back out there and doing more performances and going to more powwows? Yeah, so I want to thank Powell's.com once again for giving me this uh, uh, awesome opportunity to share my art and to break down those barriers and to educate, inspire, and motivate. And Paul, it's been, it's been a, a very, um, I would say, an upbeat um, experience. Everything has been picking up. Uh, I just came back from Illinois yesterday at the Cedarhurst Performing Arts Center. Um, we did a performance in Minneapolis a week ago for the children's uh, hospitals. And it, things are just starting to really, really pick up, especially with the uh, social media, Paul. I yeah. don't know, something's happening with social media, with TikTok and uh, <laughs> Instagram. And we did something with Pinterest, right, a while back. Yeah, and right. so I like, you know, social media has really helped uh, springboard my, my art. That's awesome. Yeah. And guys, if you're not following Larry on TikTok, what are you doing? He's got some great stuff out there. Um, some really good and you got some stuff that's going viral so it's pretty awesome to watch yeah anytime i throw something up there um whether it be the red carpet performance or or, or just at a school you know people paul literally are hungry for for to learn about our culture right because right. coming out of the pandemic you know people are looking for 
for culture, for prayers, for something that's meaningful to, to their lives. Yeah. I think, I think one of the things pandemic has taught all of us is that, um, you know, we all yearn for those connections and we're all looking for ways to, to feel that connection, whether it's, um, to the land around us, whether it's to each other. And, and I think, um, people really resonate with some of the things that are going on in the culture. Um, so that's pretty cool. And, and now, you know, it's, it's November, it's native American heritage month. Um, so, you know, first I want to kind of want to ask you, you know, what do you, what are your thoughts on native American heritage month? Kind of what does it mean to you? You do this all year round. So with the spotlight on one, just one month, you know, kind of what, what are your thoughts on, on how, how the attention changes in November? I'm glad that you asked that, Paul, because people ask me all the time, especially in November. I'm literally booked every day of November. And I was yeah. telling them, you know, I don't just dance in November. <laughs> uh, I dance um, year round and we celebrate, you know, we're, we're proud to be indigenous every day, you know, every day of our lives. And um, I'm glad that people are reaching out uh, more and more, especially on the corporate side. We get a lot more uh, corporate requests that want to honor Native American Heritage Month. So I'm really, really happy and, and glad to see, you know, the corporations reaching out for more uh, acknowledgement of the land and, and our, our heritage and culture. It, it is exciting to see corporations taking a stance um, to help their, you know, themselves and their employees learn a little more cultural sensitivity, learn how to be more inclusive in the workplace. It's pretty exciting stuff. I, I you know, I get the same kind of questions too, uh, coming from those corporations. And um, it's really, it's good to see that that's happening. Uh, I, I love that. Um, all right. So for people back up a little bit, for people who are familiar, t- tell us a little bit about what you do, you know, when you go and do these performances at corporations or schools, or whatever, you know, what are the, some of the things you're talking about and, and demonstrate and we'll, we'll have a performance later on, but, um, yeah, tell us a little bit about what, what it is you are sharing. I simply share my story, um, growing up in a community of, uh, being immersed in the traditional ways. I come from the Meskwaki Nation. It's a, a community in central Iowa. So I tell the unique story of my community, the Meskwaki Indian Settlement. You know, we're the, a settlement, not a reservation. So there's so much uh, history to teach and so much, uh, to talk about our sovereignty, our our ceremonies, what's sacred and what's not sacred, and what's you know what the the world can see. And every year, second weekend in August, we hold our annual powwow. So it gives a view of the outside world, who we are and what we celebrate and what's important to us. So the audience, I the message I convey to them is that is respect, respect for our culture respect for ourselves, respect for the land that we live on. And um, just like I said yesterday, I was at, at uh, in Cedarhurst uh, in Mount Vernon, Illinois, and there was 300 kids, screaming kids. But, you know, once you get them, once you grasp in, in, in your hand and you, you can, you know, feed them so much important information and also inspire them at the same time by being interactive with them, bring them on stage, let them feel the beat, let them feel the music and, and they get it. And that's what teachers love is the, the interaction part with me as a, as a teacher with my students as well. So it's, it's, it's good all the way around. It's a good learning experience all the way around, Paul. That's awesome. Now, one of the questions I get asked all the time, and I'm curious to hear your response because like you just said, you're out there and you're talking to people all the time. Um, so when, when somebody asks, you know, how can they, what can they do to, to celebrate Native American Heritage Month? What are some of the ways that people can can connect with the culture November and throughout the year? Do research. Research, go to your local library. I always say this, Paul, go to powwows.com. <laughs> you know, I say it all the time. Just, you have so many uh, different um, links that you offer just through your website. And um, if you want to find a powwow, go to powwows.com. If you want to learn about a local tribe in your in your state or in your region, you know, there's so much um, history to be learned. And like I said, like I tell all my audiences, there's over 500, you know, federally recognized tribes, 574 to be exact. And um, each tribe is uniquely different depending on the region uh, where they live. So there's so much to learn. And 
you know, we need to turn, we need to change the narrative. We need to change so much about how history was written in our books. And, you know, we only get maybe a chapter in, in school and social studies. You know, there's so much to learn about our rich culture and rich history. Yeah, there's a lot going on, you know, not just historically, but even now there's there's so many issues and so many things happening um, with Supreme Court cases. And then you got TV representation in movies and people like you, you know, in, in all kinds of uh, doing movies and TV shows. You know, it, it's really cool to see um, it, it. There is a lot more than just what you're seeing in the history book. So it's pretty exciting stuff. Um, all right. Well, I, I guess the kind of last topic, what do you now that you're back out there on the road, what are you looking forward to in 2023? Any big events coming up for you? Uh, yes, we've been invited to Switzerland and next August of 2023. Um, there's so many things happening on our radar. Um, I'm looking forward to coming to a school near you or event near you. We do many, many festivals throughout the year. And again, looking forward to seeing you, Paul, at the Gather of Nations Powwow next April. Yeah. Looking forward to that. It's going to be a good one this year. All right, well, Larry, thanks for spending a few times with us and looking forward to seeing the performance too. I'm going to be dancing traditional, and uh, uh, I think you'll like it. Thank you.
again, thank you so much, Larry, for spending a few minutes with me. I hope you all enjoyed that. So th this is just the first of four videos that we have this month, special performances for Native American Heritage Month. Larry was our first. Coming up next week, we've got, um, here, let me tell you the schedule. So next week, um, November 24th at uh, 9 p.m., Fawn and Dallas will be here from the Virtual Round Dance. Um, November 29th at 8 o'clock p.m., we will have Opie Day and Desiree. Um, and then on November 30th at 8 o'clock, we will have Tanya Joe Hall. So three more amazing performances. So thank you all for being here. I do have a few more things to go over with you. Don't leave yet. I still got a bonus code. Let's see. Let me see some of the comments, though. Hey, Bend Oregon's here. Awesome. He is a fantastic dancer. Yes. Woody says it was awesome. B. Riley, <laughs> champion in, a, in her best uh, MC voice. That's awesome. Uh, Charlotte, thank you. Yeah, it, his uh, his dancing is amazing. Really good stuff. Um, Jim and Marshall, thank you. Yeah, I'm glad you enjoy you all enjoyed that. Remember, this is just the first of several videos we've got coming. Also, don't forget, we are giving away three eighth generation blankets. This is one of them. It's really awesome. Hey, thanks. Got a couple people here from New Zealand. Thanks, guys, for being here. That's awesome. So, yeah, this blanket is fantastic. Here's where you can go to enter that. Enter daily for more chances to win. And there is your bonus code. If you go over to powwows.com slash win and enter that six-digit code, you'll get extra entries that are only available for watching tonight's show. Those are also available on the website, in our newsletter, and in the other three videos coming up in the next two weeks. That was a lot. That was a lot tonight. I hope <laughs> it was a lot of announcements. Um, but thank you all for being here. Again, my name is Paul Gowder. Um, and we I really appreciate you being here and being a part of powwows.com. Thank you for all your support. I hope you are enjoying Native American Heritage Month and the special performances here. Thanks, Larry. All right, everybody. Y'all, I hope you have a wonderful evening. And I'll see you next week. Quizzy, oh, thank you. You're welcome. Woody, you're welcome. So, thanks, guys, so much for being here. Uh, and don't forget, uh, oh, yeah, other announcements. I want to make sure we go over that again. This weekend, live stream uh, from Fort McDowell, Arizona. Don't miss that. Powells.com, YouTube, and Facebook. It'll be live there. Um, Leah, thank you so much for that comment. I appreciate that. Let me, oh, can I get it up on the screen? There it is. Thank you. I appreciate that. Uh, and I will let Larry know your comment. Um and we do have a special sale going on this week or this month. So make sure you check that out over in our merch. Thanks, Marshall. Appreciate that. B. Riley, thank you. Thank you. And love the socks there. Those are awesome. Uh, Punksy, I guess. Uh, thank you. Yeah, uh, a lot going on this month. Uh, we and we still have we got our holiday gift guides out there. If you haven't seen those, um, we got some really special uh list we've curated with some cool stuff that you can uh shop for your your friends your family or yourself so go check that out on the website too all right everybody hope you have a wonderful week i will see you next week